live, Perry. Oh, we're live already. Hold on, real quick. Wait. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Look at that. We cool. are at, We are freaking live right now. Fantastic. My goodness. So, how are you doing, Perry? <laughs> look, I've got a scarf on. It doesn't seem like you got a scarf on right there. I, I do not have a scarf on, but I assure you it's a little colder here than it is in LA. We're actually uh, dumping right now about uh, dumping snow right now. About three quarters of our office is working from home today just because uh, oh. the roads are pretty bad and nasty and uh, and we're supposed to get anywhere from three to seven inches of snow. See, I'm just I'm cold just listening to you. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we're indoors. I, I got the heat on. It, it's a, a nice, nice, comfortable, you know, 72 degrees in my office here. Right, right. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, anything that that falls below seventy degrees, I I feel like it's freezing. <laughs> you know, it, it depends. It depends on where you are. You know, California, if it's like fifty degrees, you got all that humidity, so it's going to be much colder. Here, is that, you know, Colorado, fifty degrees, and it's sunny out. I'll be out in a t-shirt and jeans. Nice. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to be in Hawaii in a few weeks, so you know, I'm I'm really excited I know. about that. I, I'm bummed I'm not going to be in Hawaii in a few weeks, uh, but I, I wish I was. And for everybody here who's listening that is going, you guys are going to have an awesome time. Uh, it's going to be a lot <laughs> the of schedule, fun. The, the location, everything, it just seems like it's going to be like the event of the year. Uh, thank you so much. So all of you guys who are joining in, please let us know where you're from. Oh, my goodness. We've got people from, let's see, let's see, what do you see? Atlanta, Georgia. We've got people from Alabama, Seattle, Connecticut, California, of course. <laughs> California, There's Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Uh oh, Pennsylvania. All right. Everybody's representing you. Right, right. <laughs> So let me just do an introduction. It's 9 a.m. Um, Perry, thank you so much for joining me on this webinar here. Um, I think this is long overdue, right? Yeah, I think it's been a about a solid year since we've done a webinar together. That, and that is so true. And that's really unfortunate because, you know, as we were saying before, as we were preparing, it's like, you know, you and I could probably riff for an hour uh, and have it be the best webinar produced by anybody over the last year. Uh, so, yeah. you know, I, I, I we, we need to be doing this more often, Ernesto. Uh, I think so. Uh, I'm glad we got this scheduled here. I definitely agree with that. So, all right, you guys, let's, let's go ahead and start this off. There's so, there's a lot of content and, you know, it's like one of those things where we're making you drink from a fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get started, if you don't mind, I'd love to just let people know about what we got going on in January. Uh, yes, yes, so, yes. So for everybody here who's not familiar with Brighter Vision, basically we make digital marketing easy for therapists. We'll build you a website completely branded for you and for your practice, designed to resonate with your ideal client so they're more likely to actually contact you. And in the entire month of January, we have our biggest sale of the year. You can lock in your entire first year uh, with Brighter Vision for just $49 a month uh, with no setup fee. Uh, and if you end up paying annually, it's even cheaper. It ends up being a savings of like two hundred and twenty dollars in your first wow. year with us. Uh, it's the the biggest sale we've ever offered uh, in January. So you know, if you'd like to learn more, you know, head on over to brightervision.com. Drop us a line. I'll drop my personal email in here for everybody as yeah. well. If you'd like to shoot me an and I'm email. Also gonna send, I'm also going to send all of your information um, and Brighter Vision as well to all of the attendees here. Awesome. Well, uh, well, thank you all for being here today. I really appreciate it. And uh, you know, if you'd like to learn more about Brighter Vision and, and uh, see if we're a good fit, head on over to brightervision.com and uh, check us out. Awesome. Awesome. So, so self-disclosure, um, Brighter Vision has done two of my websites and I'm going to actually showcase and show them off because they have been in partnership with me for, oh my goodness, how long, Perry? Uh, four years oh, now. I think so. About yes. That, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So filmit.com's website and also cat family therapy, my group practice website has been created by brighter vision and they have just been amazing because, you know, me as a videographer and a private practice and group practice owner, I don't have time to do all that website wow. stuff. Right. And that's Your what you guys do. <laughs> like taking selfies. <laughs> like taking selfies, yes. Uh, sorry for my reaction there. I keep hearing a, a little bit of uh, um, feedback uh, on my end. So hopefully nobody oh, else is okay. here. 
Um, but, but yes, you have way better things to be doing like taking selfies, uh, or seeing clients or networking or writing content for your website to help you rank better, uh, and letting our team do the optimization for it. So many better things for you to be doing than working on doing your website. Uh, you know, uh, let us handle that stress for you. Absolutely. So let, let's get this started. I have a PowerPoint, you guys. And for those of you who um, uh, uh, on the email list, I will email you actually my PowerPoint. So hopefully you can see the PowerPoint on your end. If not, just let me know. Perry, do you see it on your end? I see it. We have the, the three panel screen right now. Awesome. There we go. There it is. Perfect. Perfect. So I can see this on my end. So this is, you know, the, the psychology of this, uh, this psychology of design and creative use of videos. This is our webinar for today. And I want you guys to understand that this is a day and age when a lot of people are looking to websites for more, not only for information, but more to get an emotional response or emotional reaction and connection with the brand. What do you think about that, Perry? I, I could not agree more. Uh, you know, people when they're, you know, let, let's talk about behavioral health here specifically. Uh, you know, when someone's looking for mm -hmm. help, uh, they will typically spend about a year Googling, yep. uh, going onto therapist websites before they actually contact Very one. True. And it, it's our mission at Brighter Vision as a company to build websites that are going to empathize and resonate with the types of clients you do your best work with to ideally reduce that amount of time it takes for someone to actually contact a therapist and ideally contact you uh and you know having a, a well-designed well-branded website with the right color scheme with complementary visuals with the right video uh is going to enable yeah. the people you love to do your best work with to get better faster, yeah. uh, to contact you sooner. Uh, and so, you know, that, that's a mission that's really near and dear to our hearts here. Uh, and stuff we're going to be chatting about. Yeah, today. absolutely. So on your end, uh, uh, your, this is what we're going to be exploring. Number one, written content in websites. And I'm going to spin this uh, to use uh, the hierarchy of needs from Maslow. For all of us who've been in the world of psychology, we understand who Maslow is and his work on the hierarchy of needs uh, and how that uh, plays into your visual and your, uh, your website content. The next thing we're going to be talking about is complementary visuals in your website and video that drives your message. So for instance, for those of you who work with clients who are highly anxious, you wanna complement your websites and the design based on the emotional responses or the emotional condition of the visitors on your website. The third is we're gonna talk about the power of color and the purpose of blank neutral spaces. I, I can't even, uh, I, I can't even um, talk about this enough because you don't want your website to be the Amazon.com, <laughs> right? With all of the stuff that you, we want to purchase, we don't want to overwhelm people. What do you think about that, Perry? <laughs> well, you know, the, the, I, I agree with that sentiment. The thing that Amazon does really well, though, is that they drive people to do a specific yeah. thing. And that is to add items to their shopping cart and click checkout. Exactly. With with a small business website and with a therapist website, you know, you have very specific desires as well. And those desires are to get people to your contact page or to contact you through one of your contact Sorry. forms. And so utilizing the correct color scheme uh, and utilizing purposeful uh, blank and neutral spaces helps accomplish absolutely, that. Absolutely, absolutely. So the fourth that we'll be exploring will be creative use of videos. This is the day and age, and I've been talking about this for a few years. Um, it took me a long time to get people to understand the power of promotional videos, power of videos, and the new phones that we have nowadays, right? Look at this, look, it's, it's created by aliens, and we know this. 
It's a fact. Uh, and they're, they're they're powerful and and at times can be a little confusing. We were just uh, um, before, I'm like, I got to turn my phone off. I just got this new phone and I have no idea how to turn it off. They move all the buttons around. I feel like an old man at times. <laughs> but you know, the, these phones have uh, visual ca cameras on there that is just insane. Oh my God, they're amazing. They're amazing. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that. So, all right. So our next PowerPoint here. So let me talk briefly. We'll go back and forth about the content that I think that must be avoided uh, when people are visiting your website. One is overwhelming the visitors with too many choices in one page. It's different to have everything on multiple pages, but on one page. What do you think about this, Perry? Uh, you know, yeah, you certainly don't want to overwhelm your visitor with too many choices on one page. Uh, you know, copy, when you're, when you're creating copy for your website, uh, there, there's two different uh, goals you should have in mind. Uh, and one is, are you creating, for instance, a blog post that is going to be helpful and or branding yes. for you? Uh, the other purpose would be search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. And that is more from a perspective of service oriented pages. Very. And it's really important. Like when, when you're considering what copy to be creating, to consider what type of goal you're trying to accomplish. Are you trying to rank higher on, on the search engines for a specific search phrase? Right. Are you trying to help somebody with an educational blog content? Or are you trying to better brand your practice in a specific Absolutely. way? Uh, and if you approach it from those different perspectives, you're gonna you know, not only avoid overwhelming people, you're gonna have visitors who come to your website that are more engaged uh, and and more active on your website and wanting to you know potentially contact absolutely so the psychology behind creating website content uh, is to make sure that there are low level anxiety low level stress when clients are visiting your website you know if you've ever been around someone who is anxious who's all over the place when you ask them so what do you do they name off 20 million things and their hats and it's like okay what the what <laughs> It's, it's overwhelming to be people like that, uh, with, around people like that. It's the same thing with websites. <laughs> Have you been around people like that? Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, know you, you wanna be able to distill down how you help people. And, and a common mistake that, that I see uh, and Brighter Vision sees in website content uh, that really re resonates with the potentially irritating visitors is that the content is about the therapist. Mm -hmm. um, people are not coming to your website and wanting to learn about mm -hmm. you. They want to learn about how you can help them feel right. better. Uh, and so they're looking for copy that's going to resonate with them, that they're going to be able to empathize with, and that they see, yes, this person really understands how I'm feeling. Oh my God. I've never read anybody who's been talking about how I'm feeling yeah, like this. And you're talking to me. This, yes, exactly. You're talking to me. You you understand me. And if you are able to communicate through your copy that you understand your visitor, yeah. that you understand how they're feeling, yeah. they're going to be more likely to actually contact Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Know, Absolutely. So there, there, there is a controversy or uh, between lengthy copy versus short copy. And I laid it out on not that it's one is better than the other, but you have to look at the context, like what we are, what we are talking about here. So long copy is often better than short copy because it allows you to answer more of your customers uh, or your clients objections. So let me give an example about this. If you are an EMDR therapist, a short copy may not be appropriate to explain EMDR. It could be a heading, but EMDR is so complex that you have to use long copy, long explanation for it, because people are going to have questions of what is EMDR? How does it work with, with couples? How does it work with children? Things like that. So you have to be precise and long copies are good for that. Um, anything that you may want to chime in on long copy? Yeah, I, I think that your point is very accurate. Uh, and if you expand upon it a little bit, you know, when 
you gave really great, uh, two great examples there of how you can take a long form piece of content and potentially break it up into shorter pieces that are more specific for your potential mm -hmm. clients. So, you know, uh, EMDR for couples versus EMDR for what, children. What was uh -huh. gave? children. So you could have, uh, you know, a page on frequently asked questions about EMDR. What is EMDR? Uh, how does EMDR work for couples? In a brief paragraph, click here to learn more about how EMDR works for right. couples. And then it can be a long form content. So that way, somebody's able to get the bite size TLDR or too long didn't read kind of yes. summary. Uh, and then if they want to want to learn more, they can click on a link. And that's where you have a long form piece of content about how EMDR works for couples. Same thing can apply for children. How does EMDR work for, for children? Uh, you know, a brief paragraph summarizing it uh, in a, a, as concise, concise a way as possible with then a link. Hey, if you want to learn more about how EMDR works for for children, here's a more in-depth article yeah, I wrote. Yeah. And that can be where you have your long form piece of content. That way you're able to you know, accomplish the goals of each individual user um, without you know, irritating or overwhelming. Yeah, them. yeah, and the, the bottom line is you have to place yourself in your clients or your, your, uh, your ideal client's perspective and shoes. When they come to you visit your website, they want to make sure but you want to make sure that they get what they need, which is education, some sort of an emotional response, which is inspiration or hope for whatever pain that they're experiencing, right? And you want to complement that with your copy. Now, here's the next thing, the short copy. Short copy is sometimes necessary because of the nature and size of the medium you're using. So, for instance, you can see this on social media, Twitter, LinkedIn, you know, you, you use shorter copies for that right? But if you also want to uh, uh, communicate a certain type of events and you don't want to ramble on with your copy and you just want to get straight to the point, that is where you want to use a one page. And I'll give you an example of what that looks like. Any comments on that, Perry? Excellent. No, summarize that perfectly. Awesome. So, and, and to Perry's point, on the bottom, it says customers will read long copy about topics they are interest, that interest them, that's interesting to them. So you want to think about it. When someone goes to your website, they go on Google and they, say, they, they see the content of your website. They click on that. You better make sure that the title of what is being said on Google matches the content on your website. What do you think about that, mm -hmm. Perry? Oh yeah, I mean that that's that's a ranking factor from Google. Uh you know, people are going to be more engaged with your content if they arrive on uh your website that and it's accurately described on Google their expectations are in line. Um the, you know, if somebody is arriving on your website from a search engine and the content is not in line with what they were expecting, uh Google's going to rank that page lower. Mm. Uh Exactly it. So let me go ahead and share um, a couple examples of the websites that uh, Perry has done for me. And this is my uh, website. Let me just hopefully I can do this. Sorry about that. Can you see my website on your end? There's Cav, There's Cav. Yep. Okay, this is a beautiful website that Cav, um, that Brighter Vision has done for my uh, group practice. If you notice, okay, um, we're just looking at the content. I am a minimalist uh, uh, therapist and, and visual. If you notice, here is just my content. When you look through, it's, it has just little words. You know, it's not overwhelming at all. And I use a lot of white spaces, and we will talk a little bit more about that. So this is what it looks like, okay, for a short-form copy. Um, I also want to point out a little bit uh, of the type of therapy that we use. If you notice, again, short to the point. I'm a minimalist, and th it's this is my st just my style. If I could chime in with that, absolutely, absolutely. Give, you, give you advice on uh, on how you can rank better. So this is excellent. Your types of therapy here listed out perfectly. Uh, let's say on this. What you want to do for everybody listening, and, and this is a drum I've been beating now for about a year and a half because I think it's the, the best opportunity for private practices to 
improve their rankings on Google is you have a, a single page about your types of therapy with a, a paragraph about each type of therapy that you provide and, and the types of counseling services you provide. And then what you want to do is have a specific page, page that dives into it even more. So click here to learn more about family therapy. Yeah. And then that page is a, a, you know, a 400 to 500 word page on uh, what family therapy is, some common questions people might have, what it could potentially look like. And that is going to allow you to rank higher on Google when someone's searching for a family therapy in, um, you know, Altura Vista, that, that's, that's where Cab is, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that will allow that page to rank higher for that search yeah. term because Google wants to, to display pages that are as uh, specific to an individual's search query as possible. So if someone's searching for family therapists in location, if you have a page about what family therapy is like and you are servicing that location, Google's going to want to rank you yeah. better. Uh, Google's want to display that to their users more yeah. often. Uh, and so that's the, the biggest opportunity you have. Uh, and that's a, you've done an excellent job on your short form here. And so if you, for everybody listening and for, for your team, Ernesto, if you want to focus more on the long form, that's a really great opportunity for you guys to rank even higher on Google. And to your point, here you go, men's group. <laughs> Perfect. I am going, this is, so we, we have a men's group um, here in uh, Fullerton in one of our offices. We're out also going to do one in Huntington Beach. And I cannot tell you enough how this specific website has been ranking faster because it's only geared towards our group practice. I mean, uh, our men uh, a project uh, group for men. So let me, this again, minimalist, but it also only, only focuses on the men's group. And there you go. This is absolutely perfect, Ernesto. You guys, so you even have a video at the end there. That that's just the absolutely perfect. That's exactly what you and a contact mm -hmm. form. You you have that page set up absolutely there you perfectly. Go. And you see that made by intro Tyler. content, who the therapists are, yeah. video contact form. You guys must be getting a ton. We of get, off that page. yeah, we haven't released this one, but my, my, my men's pra, uh, men's group uh, already is already almost done. And we're starting off wow. another one, but this has been just a single page. So to your point, if you have a group for an anxious um, uh, and folks or entrepreneurs that you want, you want us to dedicate one page to them. Absolutely. That's the way to do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let me close this off. Um, let me get back to my PowerPoint. So, you know, it seems like we're talking the same language, uh, Perry. <laughs> Surprise, surprise there, right? Uh, so I, I do want to mention, I, I love questions. I'm sure you do as well, Ernesto. If people have questions, you know, please type them in. We could either answer them on the fly or answer them all at the end. I don't know if you have a preference, Ernesto, um, but you know, Ernesto and I are here for you. This is why why we are here is for the, the 75 people who are registered and listening right yeah. now. You know, we want to provide as much value to you as we possibly can. Uh, so let us know what questions you have throughout the process or, or Ernesto, if you prefer, it's all at the no, end. No, no, no. We can, we can go all way. the way through as well too. And, um, and questions. I know that this is also being projected on um, Facebook Live. Oh, it, whoa, it really cool. is. And so I, I, I'm having a hard time toggling back and forth. So I'm going to focus a little bit more here. So let, let's move on here. So web content and the hierarchy of needs through Maslow. Now, for all of you who are psychology students and uh, therapists, you are very familiar with the five elements of the human needs according to and desires according to Maslow. So I want you guys to be thinking about this when you're creating content uh, on your website. Now, your website does not only need to be visual. It also needs to uh, um, um, a hit on the, the, the human part of your clientele or your visitors. So here it is, right? Uh, website written and visual must have some element on the human needs and desire, the physical needs, safety, security, esteem, love and belonging, self-actualization. I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on the, on the last part, but here you go. When someone, think about this, when someone is, is struggling with panic attacks, right? And they're looking for uh, relief. Some of the things that we have to do for 
trauma-informed or anxiety-informed clinicians is that we have to go through the basic needs to help them find their needs or, or to help them to calm down, which is go to the brain first or whatever they need. Give them a cold water, right? You don't talk about what's making them anxious because that's, they're up here. You want to make sure that you provide them with physical needs first. So you give them water when someone's panicked or you provide them a touch if they need that at that time. Right. So you want to go through that. Now, how does this play out in website content? Well, I want you guys to look at some of the content. If you can pull up your own website as we are doing this webinar, I want you to be looking at your website to see if it's uh, uh, if it's addressing the physical, the safety, the esteem, the love and belonging and all of that stuff. What's your thoughts on this, Perry? Uh, I, I think you're totally right. Um, you know a lot more about Maslow's hierarchy of needs than than I do. Uh, but everything I'm reading, everything I'm hearing, it, you know, it, it's you know, marketing 101 with Maslow as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, you want to be connecting and empathizing and giving people, giving your visitors and potential clients. Uh, what they what they need yep. uh, through your design and through your copy. And then per Perry mentioned earlier about making sure that the content is focusing on your clients, right? And so you want to be talking to them. Um, in the very beginning of our website, for instance, I'm going to toggle back and forth. I'm going to show you what this looks like from a certain perspective. Um, when you are creating content, you want to make sure that individuals understand that you are talking to them. And let me give an example of what Andrew and I actually worked on. Actually, I'm gonna stick, stick on this page. Can you see this, uh, the men of honor? Yeah, so, 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 so if you notice, oops, I am so sorry here. So if you notice with the men of honor project, it's basically explaining this group this group is uh, a camaraderie of men seeking to better themselves and develop mental focus and emotional composure. You think about that from, from Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Men need to have a sense of belonging, some space of uh, a, a, a lot of men suffer with being isolated and having perfectionistic tendencies. So you want to look at, at that from that perspective when you are writing your content. Right. Um, any thoughts on this, uh, Perry? I mean, I, I think what what you've done with this page is is exactly right. You know, you're you're speaking to the the needs and the concerns and the wants uh, of your specific audience there, and that's that's what's really great about having those specific service pages is because you're really able to distill down what the uh, what the concerns are um, about uh, your, your particular user, uh, your particular potential client, uh, and really address them head on. Absolutely. And you want to look also, if you notice, um, when you get on my our landing page, the first thing you're going to make eye contact with is this image of this couple holding hands, right? Um, and so that also mm -hmm. uh, taps into this idea of connection. Right. Holding hands, connection. Um, there's no overwhelming. Even my logo has families in there um, kind of, you know, to, uh, uh, in the shape of a heart. Right. And then the content, love your logo. right. And then the content matches the visuals, which is achieve better communication, emotional health and relational harmony, live and be happy. So that is that is the content that we put there. Um, here are some of the other images of belonging. If you notice, there's a multi, in our area, there's a lot of multicultural, um, um, diverse uh, individuals uh, here in our population in California, in Southern California. And so I wanted to project this image of the multicultural picture of students, right, of, of people there. So it also taps into this idea of belonging. Um, there's also an image here where the couple, if you notice, the couple are kind of separated, looking out into the distance, right? That signifies disconnect. And if you notice the content on the side, it says, 
Uh, frequent arguments with your spouse or partner, paralyzed by overwhelming symptoms of depression and stress. So this image alone complements the copy next to it. Very nicely, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to toggle back and forth. Any thoughts on that, Perry? You're hitting the nail on the head, Ernesto. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, let's see. Do you see my screen at all? No, not yet. Okay, here we go. So the hierarchy of needs, again. So not seeing it. You're seeing it now. No. Got it. Okay. No, I see the two panels. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. So here's the last part I want to uh, talk a little bit more about, the self-actualization. Maslow says that what man can be, he must be. Many people who are visiting your website has an element of inspiration to their, to their, in their soul, meaning they want to be better than their current situation at the moment or how they're feeling about themselves at the moment. So your website needs to have elements of inspiration and hope and uplifting those visitors, okay? Um, Meslo believed that this is every man's need to achieve their full potential as human beings. So your content, your copy, everything like that should focus on maybe a picture that has someone um, on top of a, I don't know, on top of a mountain <laughs> in Colorado, beautiful Colorado. <laughs> you know, it, it depends on what, what they're, what you, how you want your target client to feel. Uh, you know, if, you know, your, your copy there was specifically about, uh, I'm thinking about the, the couple that were separated out was specifically about how you might be feeling if you're, not experiencing uh if you're going through struggles in, in your relationship mm -hmm. um whereas if you were had reversed that copy and, and and not saying that one is the the better route to take they each have their their place but instead reverse that copy and we're we're talking about are you looking to feel connected again and have that spark reinvigorated you would want to have a, a photo of a couple snuggled up together yeah. Uh, as opposed to standing apart, gazing out, maybe they're snuggled up and gazing out together. Yeah. Um, because that's going to resonate with the copy that's there um, and give that self-actualization uh, for your potential user, Absolutely. potential client. Absolutely. So again, this is how um, um, the hierarchy of needs really complement uh, uh, the websites. Think about it from that perspective. When anytime you're creating content, uh, a blog post or your website, anything, think of the Maslow effect, okay? The five uh, uh, human desires and needs. Okay, I'm going to move on. It, uh, are, you, are we good, Perry? Oh, you touched on everything, I think, so. All right, and again, I wanna um, plug uh, uh, Brighter Vision. Brighter Vision has done both of my websites. Please visit their website to see how they can help you. They also have a beautiful promotion that's going on. And there's a link on the bottom where you can actually click on it and it goes straight to that promotion. Okay. All right. Here we go. Blank white spaces and neutral spaces. Okay. This is something that is psychologically uh, appropriate and a must have on your website. There's a lot of white spaces and neutral spaces uh, uh, in websites. Like if you look at Apple, if you look at um, major websites that tons of visitors go to. Now, what the what do blank spaces and neutral spaces do? They provide visitors a resting place for their mind and their eyes. If you look at the websites who have these neutral colors like grays, light grays, light whites. When you focus on these areas, it actually gives you a relief. If you're looking at my PowerPoint right now, the red somewhat is strong and overwhelming, right? But if you look at the size, there's white spaces that gives your eyes some rest from all that overwhelming color, okay? If visitors are anxious, your website with blank spaces can provide them relief as they scroll through their website. When you look at my website for Cat Family Therapy, there's a lot of white spaces and gray spaces. I want to make sure that people are visually uh, not overwhelmed with so many colors for the website. Again, I'm a minimalist. That's just my style. You can 
adopt your own. Um, I would say avoid the Amazon, look for your website. <laughs> there is appropriateness for that. They're amazing because I'm an Amazon addict. I don't know about you, Perry. Are you an Amazon addict? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they're down, the they're cool. the swipe to feature. order on the app the, the swipe to order on the iphone app just kills my bank account <laughs> <laughs> oh so they, they they that's a purpose right it's it works for them now for the mental health community for mental health uh um website it may not be appropriate to have so many amazon stuff going on in your website <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, and you don't, you know, I think you've done an excellent job w with Cav, Cav's website uh, with the the blank white spaces, the neutral spaces, and there's a there's a time and a place for it. And sometimes you might want more of a hero image approach, which is like a big image opening up, like you actually have on Film It, and a lot of our clients have on their websites as well, uh, which can can work very effectively too. Um, it's really just, you know, it's about balance. Yep. Uh, a well-designed website is going to incorporate the right, the correct amount of white space to meet your goals and your design aesthetic and the brand you want to project while simultaneously accomplishing the design goals of white space Absolutely. and the colors will complement it. Yeah. And the, the fact that you have a lot of blue, uh, with so much white space is a very effective color for that. You know, blue exudes a lot of calmness, uh, and serenity. Yeah. And, and that, that blue really complements the, um, abundance uh, of white and neutral space yeah. that you have on your website. Whereas, you know, if you were going to use, red uh as the primary color with all that white space it's going to be really hard because your eye is going to be drawn to that red all the time mm -hmm. and it's not going to be able to take advantage of all the white space speaking of this giant red wall behind me uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh man <laughs> this is our last webinar that we're recording in this office so finally the 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 red wall of death behind me is going to oh, go right. away <laughs> exactly uh, that's awesome that's awesome yeah. Absolutely. So with the light grays and white shades and, you know, the, the neutral space uh, as resting colors uh, for the eyes. But here's the power of using these white spaces and gray spaces and neutral spaces is that if you have primary colors like blues, reds, oranges, it actually pops. If you notice right behind me, there's a there's a green plant, right? It's all neutral colors right behind me. But the, that green just jumps out at you. Right. Um, it, you see this a lot in neutral spaces in offices, and then they have these flashes of colors all over their office. You know, you've got reds, oranges, and it's a complementary color. So when you put that against certain colors, it actually uh, works well in the space. You can also see this if you're in a tropical place like Kauai. White skies, right? <laughs> Shameless plug right here. White skies, and you see pops of blues and aqua and even the sunrise, sunset, uh, uh, splashes of reds. I mean, it's just very pleasing and inspirational through, through the eyes. So that's one way to kind of look at blank spaces and neutral spaces. Thoughts, Barry? That, that, that was a great shameless, seamless plug. Plug there, Ernest, so. <laughs> seamless, seamless, not shameless. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of my primary thoughts is that I need to have one of my website designers help me with my new office <laughs> because I, I, I like move into an office space. I'm just like, I mean, if I could turn my monitor, around, I'm not going to do it. You'll see there's a whiteboard on the floor. I have an orange wall and a red wall because I told them not to paint it here just so that I could just like faster um i have this giant red desk i don't know why i have so much red in my office um but my, my thoughts are i need some help from our excellent website designers to help me coordinate our andrew. new office we're we're moving andrew robin somebody please I, i'm gonna go put a plug out for them sooner and ask someone to help me because yeah. uh we're moving offices uh in just like two and a half weeks here uh moving to a, a larger space here. We've kind of outgrown our space and uh, 
get rid of this red wall. <laughs> oh, God. Now, I, I'm giving you an example. Again, Brighter Vision has done my filmit.com website. It is the sexiest website I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, it's the sexiest website because look who's on the hero thank image. You, thank you. Yes, the hero <laughs> image. Awesome. So here's the psychology of it. You know, I have my picture, you know, blown up there. Um, uh, that's the hero image uh, that was I'm trying to portray. You got it right on. But look at the colors, okay? Neutral colors in the back. You got the grayish tone, black tones, all of those things. But if you look at the center, I want people to, I want to steal the eyes of individuals by using these orange type reds tones. It's because I want people to look at the video library. I want them to work with me. I want them to hire me to speak, right? So these, this is where reds become very powerful against a very neutral background. And if you look at the wording, let's create your promotional video that will inspire your ideal client. And right below that are all of these splashes of reds. Okay. It's, like, it's, it's great. Mm -hmm. And if you look, the psychology of this too is where is my eye pointed to? Filmit.com. Did you take this photo? Did you take this photo just for the website? Because it's, I mean, I remember when that photo shoot happened, like Ernesto, we need to rebuild your website because it was on a different theme. Yes. And uh, we got our team to rebuild it for you to utilize these websites, the, these images. And uh, it, it really helps create such a fantastic uh, feel and a fantastic energy mm -hmm. to it. And it's, it's one of the reasons why we really encourage uh, our clients to go out and, you know, spend two, three hundred dollars and get a professional photo shoot done. Um, it might be a little more, it might be a little less. Get some professional headshots um, because you can really do a lot of excellent work. Even if you don't want a, a huge hero image like that, uh, you know, we have a client named Sierra Braun uh, who has a, a smaller hero image uh, that functions in, in a very similar fashion uh, that it really helps take your your branding and your your digital presence to that whole next level oh, that absolutely. Uh, allows you to, to pop off the page, stand out, uh, and really speak to your ideal client. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So there's a lot of psychology going behind this. If you notice, my finger is pointed towards the testimonial, right? Just on the website alone. The other is my eyes is pointed somewhere else, which is if you're on the desktop, it's pointing towards filmit.com. And I want people to also look at that connection between me and filmit.com. I know there's a lot of psychology here, but you know, this is the this is how my mind thinks from a creative perspective. When you scroll down again, there's white spaces and my video and my mouth kind of I have no idea what my mouth is doing there. <laughs> right? Another white space. Um, and then there's that blue tone uh, where I quickly talk about uh my letter to therapists and coaches, right? And there's another uh, picture of me um, trying to look fancy. Um, and then on the bottom, obviously, we got all of that going on. There's that red tone again or orange tone uh, with work with me, okay? And that's what it looks like. Let me just close this off again. Any thoughts on that, Perry? Oh, I, I love your website. Um, if, if I could add, add one thought to it specifically, if you want to pull film it back up okay. uh, and scroll to the top. Got it, got it. Hold on. Um, and this is kind of a, a psychology of, of choices here. Um, and, and thinking about what you want your, your client, your potential visitor to do. I, if I were you, uh, I would likely swap the locations of work with me and hire me to speak. And change the the colors of the the buttons for the video library and hire me to speak uh, to be more of a a lighter color and the work with me to be a darker like color. That. Because I, I would I would I would assume that your goal is for somebody to click work with me of those three. Right, I right. think giving all three options are important, but it's important to you know think what is my ultimate goal and your ultimate goal most likely is for someone to click on the work with me page. Give them the options. Uh, and allow work with me to pop off a little more clearly. Yeah. Let me click uh, on that, that, um, that would... work with me page. It's basically the contact page. Yep. 
which is exactly what it should be. Uh, maybe a, a paragraph uh, of additional content about what working with you could be like. Um, and it, you know, uh, that, that would be my, my one uh, you know, suggestion looking at this with a fresh set of eyes for the first time yeah. in, in a, a couple of months here. Yeah. Good okay. suggestions right there. So uh, when, when you are creating your promotion, your, your um, uh, website, always have these eyes to kind of give you suggestions. I know for me, Andrew was, was those eyes um, from Brighter Vision. He, we went back and forth on some of these images and some of the positioning of it. So, you know, I know that he's not doing any more website, but that's a loss. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, he, he, he still handles, still does some websites for us. He's still here with us, of course, and is more in a, a role that uh, he focuses on taking the websites from a development phase to bringing them live uh, and really helping make that as stress-free pos as possible for our clients. One thing we have done pretty recently uh, over the last six, seven months here is we've transition to a system of teams so all of our clients now work with a team of designers instead of just one designer mm -hmm. uh, and it's really allowed us to offer better customer service mm -hmm. throughout the design process so one the senior designer on each team uh, is in charge of all the phone calls and they'll be on the phone four to six hours every day wow. talking with their clients and really doing design consultation work with them. So being able to provide that extra level of design consultation to, to talk through those questions that our clients have to talk through, uh, you know, concerns and how to, to really make things, certain things pop, changing images, changing colors and offering that, you know, again, that design consultation yeah. uh, which is really what we pride ourselves on here um we love it, we love it. Yeah. so andrew andrew doesn't design sites too many sites anymore unfortunately um he still does a handful here and there uh, but you have but a good you have a beautiful uh creative team anyway so you know yeah we we, we have a team of gosh where are we at like seven or eight designers wow. now uh on our team yeah uh, and everybody gets, when you get assigned to a team, you have a, a team lead, a senior designer, a uh, senior designer, then a junior designer that helps support. So you have a team of three people working with you uh, on your project amazing, to help amazing. bring it to life. All right, we're going to move into the creative use of your video, uh, of videos on your website. We've got uh, about 15 minutes here to talk about this. This can be a whole webinar in itself. And I just want to give up. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, well, um, I just want to give a plug here. For those of you who don't know, I, I'm doing a conference here in California called the Not Your Typical Psychotherapist Summit. And I will be going into details about videos. It's going to be action oriented. There's going to be a lot of speakers uh, at this conference, but. I will be talking about this specifically and all the creative things that I've learned throughout the years on the ways to use your videos. Now, um, Brighter Vision and I have been working back and forth on creating a platform for many clinicians to have videos on their website. The first time I started doing it, I, I asked Perry, I said, Perry, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos and for other therapists as well too, and for myself, is there any way we could incorporate that? And right off the bat, he was like, oh my gosh, absolutely. Because I've been trying years prior to, for Psychology Today, to put videos on their platforms and they've ignored me over and over and over again. So I stopped. Perry came along and said, hey, let's do this. <laughs> so here's... Uh yeah, I mean, videos are, are so crucial in this day and age. And it's something that that we at Brighter Vision need to improve upon for our own branding and marketing purposes. Uh, it's it's such an excellent way to to connect with your clients, connect with your audience, and and humanize yourself to right. them. Absolutely. Uh, there, there was a... Just last night, I, I saw uh, that there was a, a video that was just like leaked, I guess you could say, uh of i'm gonna slaughter her name uh the the new representative from new york alexandria ocasio uh, ocasio cortez and it, it was such an awesome video it was a a video when she was in college of her and some friends like dancing, dancing. and lip syncing to uh some some musicians video and I, someone uh, on this this thread on cora was like why are people saying this is a bad thing? This is 
humanizing her and it and it totally does it's like oh wow you know she's this is a real person yeah you know yes she's you know gonna be a representative in congress and, and everything but here's a she's a real person you get to see who that person is like and that's what's so amazing about the the day and age that we live in yeah yeah you can take this video take this phone create a video from it or here we are creating this webinar and, and it's humanizing us. You yeah. know, people are able to connect with us. They're, they're understanding who we are and, uh, you know, seeing our facial expressions. And as a therapist, I, I mean, that is just so, it's so valuable. important because, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're going to be sitting there in a room a, as a potential client. I'm going to be sitting there in a room with you for 45 minutes to an hour and, you know, talking about my, you know, my biggest struggles in my life and things I have never talked about with anyone before. Yeah. I need to, you know, relate with you. I need to, you need to be a real person to me and I need to like you Yeah, yeah. and video accomplishes that. Absolutely. All right, microphone. Over to- <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, you know, when you're creating videos, I highly recommend that you create a YouTube channel and it's free. And for those of you who don't know what I do, I'm actually a videographer and I work specifically for clinicians to create promotional videos. And I do consultation on how to create those YouTube channels and YouTube videos and all those those things. So here are some of the things that uh, are on the up and coming for a lot of website, which is professional done videos. I do promotional videos. My friends at uh, Coupla Media does videos. There's a lot. Unfortunately, there's, there's not very many uh, a therapist slash videographers out there. And uh, that's really important for our profession because no one else speaks our language. And so for me as a clinician myself, uh, I help you to create those languages, uh, the communication via video. So that's a big plug for film it talk. <laughs> Here's and you guys do such amazing work. Uh, uh, thank uh, you, thank you. Um, so with with uh, the professional videos. Here's one of the things that is so vital in this day and age is for people to understand and to feel comfortable with the environment that they're going to see their clients. So a tour of your office, just grab your cell phone, right? And make sure you film. uh, um, This is my iPhone XS, XS Max. I cannot brag about this uh, phone enough because the the video quality in here is just incredible and i know i'm not getting any uh, financial gains by promoting (laughs) iphone here but the technology nowadays iphones androids they come with incredible video quality and so all you have to do is just grab your video from your cell phone and just do a tour of your office or you know, your, the, the office where you see your clients and then just post that on Facebook, on LinkedIn and Twitter or whatever and upload that on your profession, your uh, YouTube channel. Ernesto, you do such a great job at making it feel so stress-free. Uh, and, and I know from personal experience, like I can hop on a webinar, no problem. I can hop on a podcast, no problem. But if you're going to take that video camera and put it on me <laughs> and put me on the spot like that, I mean, I just freeze up. Yeah. Yeah. How do you, what would you say to, to our audience today yeah. that are like, yeah, Ernesto, I, it seems easy enough. I just click that red button and it starts recording, but <laughs> what am I going to say? What am I going to do? What my, you know, yeah. what, what am I going to wear? Like my, yeah, the, what, the beauty what would you say to those anxieties. Yeah, the, the beauty about videos nowadays is you don't even have to be in front of the, the camera. You don't have to be in front of the camera. You can take videos of nature, you can take videos of your office, and you're not even there. You know, you can take videos like for instance for the Kauai retreat, I took a video of my feet walking through water. <laughs> And that's all I did. Yeah, that's a creative video, man. Yeah, I just put that's my great, phone great and great promotional video. Just walked. And then at the end of the video, I just said, come join us on Kauai. And we got five people signing up for Kauai because of that video. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great video. Right. And so you, the thing is, absolutely, you don't have to be in front of a camera. But if you are to be in front of the camera, the next piece is interview your employees or your therapist. So what I do, if you go to Cab Family Therapy, 
there's a one page of all the videos that I've done with Dr. Robert Pate. Him and I were just talking about couples therapy, what couples therapy is. We just had it mounted on a tripod and we were just talking just like that. And then no editing, nothing. We just uploaded it on YouTube. That's it. Um, do uh, weekly or bi-monthly videos dedicate, again, one page to this. So if you're doing one video just for couples, one video for anxiety, EMDR, like what Perry was saying, do it all in just one area and one page. Um, promoting your events or groups. So uh, you already got in a, a taste of what the group looked like. The video of me just promoting the Men of Honor Project the group, uh, for men and just post it on just one page, right? Uh, I know I keep talking about videos all over the place, but right now, a lot of people are asking me, where should I post these videos? You know, you can post them anywhere. I even have a video, a promotional video of my offices in the contact section of Cab Family Therapy. Um, I like just one page of all of these video blogs going straight down and people don't have to search for them. So it's just depending on where you want to place your videos. Before I used to say, put it on the landing page, on the home page. But now people come to you through back doors, right? They don't mm -hmm. normally just come to you on your landing page. They come, they find your page on Google, uh, your contact page, your about me page, right, Perry? Yeah. Oh yeah. The about me page is your most important page on your website outside of your homepage. There you go. There you go. You need a video of yourself there speaking to your potential client. There you go. So this is now, uh, like I said, Perry, you and I can go for days talking about this. And for those of you who are joining, you will have a free copy of this webinar. I will email it to everyone. Um, I'm also going to email it to, uh, to Brighter Vision. So all of you guys will have this free content. Please, please, please visit their website. They've got a lot of things to uh, a lot of things to to offer you. Um, Perry, what's your thoughts? Uh, my final thoughts are: if you have not registered for Kauai or for the not the typical psychotherapist summit, is that did I say that properly? Absolutely, you did. Uh, it, 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 I believe that's in May, right, in Anaheim. Absolutely. Uh, you need to, to go register for that. Uh, Brighter Vision is going to be there. Uh, we can do a, you know, a free analysis of your website. Yes. But more important, 